Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our Windows 11 optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 11 version 22H2 and 23H2. And for this month, our optional update is KB5039302. And once again, this is more or less, give or take, the same update I posted on a week or two ago when it was still being finalized in preview and has now made its way into stable. Now, there's quite a lot going on in this update. And first of all, we get six new features which are on a gradual rollout. So if you're like me and are only seeing some of these new features, then obviously uh, we could be getting the rest of those um, in the Patch Tuesday update that will roll out in the uh, second week, the second Tuesday of July next month. Because if you don't install this update now, the improvements and fixes will be carried over into the Patch Tuesday update for the following month, as you may well know. So you, as mentioned, you may see some of these, you may not. So once you've installed KB5039302, the first new feature you could see is if we head to our settings home, um, the update adds a new Game Pass recommendation card on the settings home page. And I've also noticed something just on a quick side note, as you can see, since updating the settings home page takes a lot longer to load on my system. So I don't know if that's just how it's going to be now or if that is a bug, but nonetheless, just something to take note of. So the home page shows the home page shows on home and pro editions when you sign into Windows using your Microsoft account. The card appears if you actively play games on your PC, which I don't. That's why I'm not seeing the Game Pass recommendation. But if you do play a lot of games, you might see that. And then the Show Desktop button is on the taskbar again by default. So that's yeah, right to the bottom right. I don't know if you can see it's a little uh, toggle to the bottom right. And obviously, if you click on that, you can show and hide your desktop. And this was turned off by default due to Copilot because obviously Copilot and that little toggle are very close, but Microsoft now, due to feedback, has enabled that once again. And if you want to turn off Show Desktop, you just right-click on your taskbar, head to Taskbar Settings, head over to Taskbar Behaviors, and yeah, you'll see select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop. So you can toggle that on and off according to your own personal choice and preference. Now, this is one I'm not seeing. Um, if we just head back into my File Explorer, and I'll just head over to some fi uh, files, images as an example. You can now create 7-zip and tape archive tar files using the context menu. So according to Microsoft, um, when you right-click on a file, um, a compress to item gives you ways to compress a file using tools like gzip, bzip2, and more. I'm not seeing that. I'm only still getting compress to zip file, not the overall compress to where it gives you access to 7-zip and um, tar where you can create those files. So you may see that, you may not, but that is a new feature. And some of these I've covered quite in depth on the channel before. So I'm just skipping over these as quickly as possible. And then um, the update adds support for Emoji 15.1. Now, if we just use Windows and stop, there we go. There's our Emoji. And I'm not actually seeing these, but nonetheless, I have covered this quite in, in depth, but just to have a quick recap. So it adds support for Emoji 15.1, which supports Unicode symbol-like shapes for family groupings. So the new Emoji are horizontal and vertical head shake, phoenix, lime, brown mushroom, broken chain. So that's what's new with Emoji 15.1. As mentioned, still on a gradual rollout, so you may see those, you may not. Now this next one I have received, and you can now copy files from the Windows Share window. So if we head back, if I right click, and I hit to share, there's a copy button now. So basically what this means, you just click the new copy button and you'll be able to copy that directly, which I think if you're using this feature on a regular basis, is a nice move. And then the update starts the rollout of the new account manager on the start menu. Now, I must be honest, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. So if you click on your profile, yeah, you're going to see the new account manager. And I have posted on this in depth. And this could also be um, listed as an ad, but Microsoft calls this an account manager. So when you use 
a Microsoft account is signed into Windows, you'll get a glance at your account benefits. And this feature also makes it easy, according to Microsoft, to manage your account settings. So as you can see here, you can click on um, my Microsoft account. Uh, little Microsoft 365. I, I would consider this to be an ad. Here's my OneDrive cloud storage. And if I click on the three dotted menu, it says more options. And then you can sign out um, of your Microsoft account using that option. So that's the new account manager on the start menu that's becoming more widely available. Now, those are the features, as mentioned, you may see some, you may not. Those are the features that are on a gradual rollout. And the normal rollout now, I'm just going to mention these. Um, this is what's rolling out now to everyone. This update addresses an issue that affects the snipping tool. So when you use it to record videos on some PCs, the audio has distortions. So that distortion in the snipping tool should be addressed. Uh, the update also addresses an issue that affects the touch keyboard. Apparently, you couldn't use it to enter special characters. So this occurred when you use the Japanese 106 keyboard. So that's obviously region specific. And then the update addresses an issue that affects USB devices, apparently ejecting them using the safe, safely remove hardware option failed. And this occurred when task manager is open. Now talking about task manager, um, there are quite a couple of fixes for task manager. So if you have experienced any issues uh, with the task manager in Windows 11, then there are five uh, fixes and improvements that have rolled out um, for the task manager. I'm not going to mention them because I have covered them in that previous video. But if you have experienced any issues, then those should be resolved because there are five bug fixes and improvements that have rolled out for the task manager. Now, because this is a, a non-security update that includes quality improvements, we get a couple of other bug fixes which are mainly taking place under the hood. So they're not really going to be of benefit and interest to your average home user. But nonetheless, this is a non-security bug fix update. So there are a couple of other issues that have been addressed. And if you do decide to install KB5039302, um, if we just head over to Winver, which I like to do just to keep us all on the same page with uh, the different builds that have rolled out. So this is about Windows. So if you are running Windows 11 version 23H2, the OS build is 22631.3810. And if you are running 22H2, that'll be 22621.3810. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.